Welcome back to Anderton's TV. Hello. Today's video features the Cory Wong Wampler compressor pedal, the new Origin, in fact, uh, what even is this f***ing called? The Wong compressor. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the right compressor. It's not the right one, it's the Wong one. <laughs> the new Wong Compressor from Wampler, the Origin FX DCX Boost, the Archer, the Jeff, and the Lizard Queen collaboration between EHX and JHS. And Simpsons. Take it away, Mr. <laughs> Pete. <laughs> uh, uh. Right, so pedal number one yes. is uh, from Wampler. Uh, Corey Wong, kind of like the 21st century funkiest guitar player alive. Yeah. Tons and tons of stuff on YouTube about Corey if you want to go find out more about his yeah. music. We had an interview with him as well. You can go up there and if you That's are up there did. or down there, then please like and subscribe and uh, you can win a clone when we get to a million. So we need to get to a million. We need to get to a Come million. On. So on. Corey is funky. He plays clean, funky guitar. Uh, and I think the idea with this pedal is not necessarily with an amplifier anymore. <gasps> Gasp intake of breath. So let me read you what uh, the um, <laughs> manual says here. So Corey Wong is a Grammy nominated artist renowned for Dick. laying down some of the finest grooves across all genres, Dick. especially death metal. Uh, the Wampler Corey yeah. Wong compressor is at the heart of his legendary tone. It's more than just a compressor and a boost pedal. It's a dynamic toolkit that shapes your tone with sparkling cleans and responsive compression, either direct into your amp or straight into your recording interface. Into your um, face. Into your face. Into your so funk, let's look at face. the pedal. Let's mm -hmm. look at the pedal. We have six knobs. Uh, we have a mids and flat switch. We have two uh, foot switches, buttons on the sides, XLR outputts, regular jack outputs. Yeah. Groovy, the XLR baby. Is, is pretty cool. It's a cool idea. I haven't seen that before. Or maybe I have. So we're running, uh, we've got two outputs coming from the uh, compressor pedal. The XLR output's going straight into our interface mm -hmm. and we'll Demo that in a second. Right now you're hearing it through Pete's DP40. So here is our, oh, wrong button. Here is our no pedal sound. Sounds like a guitar amp. I'm playing one of these. I know they're friends, so. A silver Strat. A silver Strat. Um, okay, attack, tone, sustain, volume, blend, and boost. Boost obviously relates to the boost pedal over here. And then uh, this kind of, are you boosting like a mid or a flat signal? Let me just oh, double cool. check. I like there's a blend knob yes. on there. That's the switch really cool. here, the mids and flat is, is just uh, for the boost circuit. Do you want it to be a flat boost or accentuate the mids? Um, pretty much all the controls on here will be pretty familiar if you've got a uh, compressor mm -hmm. pedal you're ready. Uh, on the side here is a an always on button. So if you wish, I guess this is maybe if you're only ever going to play with compression on, you can push this button in and then regardless of what you do to oh, really? buttons, okay. it's just right, right, right. always on. That's uh, cool. There's a ground lift on the side, which is handy if we're going to use your amp and uh, mm -hmm. DI out simultaneously. Yeah. Uh, so let's just have a little bit of a play here. Fattens up the sound nicely. Is it, built, I, is it uh, based on any sort of compressor or is it just like a, you know, it's 1176 or is it an L2A or... My or gut feeling, I mean, obviously you've got uh, Wampler have that Ego compressor, don't they, which is hit, which he used prior to uh, having yes, yes, a, a signature pedal, so I'm guessing that's it's true. just an evolution of that. I like the, I like the blend control on a compressor yes, because some lovely. people... Some oh. people like the attack of the natural oh, yeah. guitar sound with a little bit of like a little bit of compressor just wrapped around it. Other people go for the full compressor bear hug. Um, but so with the blend sort of down, it sounds like this. Cocaine bear hug. That's a lot of compression. It there. is like a it. lot of compression. So um, the boost, does it tell me how many dBs it boosties? It does not, but it's quite a lot. So uh, here's in its flat mode. That's a lot. That's a lot I mean, of he, boost. He, he does that thing live when he's like, you know, the band is breaking yeah. down and he's like a... If 
if I so, engage the mid sort of accentuated bit on the boost. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> anyway, right, let's uh, have a quick listen to this direct yes. into our DI. Into now, of DI. course, the manual also says that you could, if you really wanted to, plug this straight into an active PA cabinet or something, if you just want that Nip absolute up. crystal clean, uh, sort of reminiscent. Straight in, that's well, me. That was you doing that. That's me I banging saying, the almost guitar. Perhaps yeah. reminiscent of um, <laughs> some of those artists that would have just gone into a compressor yeah. straight into their desk, recorded it. You know, we did a little thing on um, uh, Little Feet recently, didn't we? What pedal was that? That was the uh, new UA FX compressor. Oh, yes. The same yeah, kind yeah. of idea, yeah. you know, like this idea of just plugging your compressor straight into a desk. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so here's without. Wow, that's a lot. That's, that's a, a lot, lot of volume boost. in there. I, I would say again, be careful with that boost if you are going to DI this, because whereas with a guitar amplifier, it'll sort of yeah, happily take into the, the boost without necessarily immediately overdriving. Obviously, as soon as you can hear the, the channel clipping on your desk, it's a very unpleasant sort of sound. The desk. So, um, sounds good. There we are. Yeah, it's a clever thing with the DI out and the boost on. We like there compressors. And, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, yeah. a, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the little, the, the Ego the, Mini yeah. uh, compressor Absolutely. that, that Womp did. Great, you know, way of getting compression on your board without taking up a lot of space. But there we are. Yep. 260 pounds available to buy <laughs> right now from Anderton's music company. If links. you follow the links below. below. Um, shall we move on? Yes, we shall. We'll move on. Pedal number two yes. is uh, from uh, Origin FX, British. Yes. Pedal manufacturing at its finest. Absolutely. Uh, they have two new pedals, actually, that have recently been released. Mm -hmm. One for guitar, one for bass, uh, called the DCX. Mm -hmm. DCX Boost for guitar, DCX Bass for bass. For bass. Um, <laughs> they are... What I does it say pedal. about this? It says they are a pair of tone, shaping and drive pedals inspired by the iconic Universal Audio 610 recording preamp. Yeah. Which... If you're interested in that, uh, you can go and watch the Universal Audio video that we did recently of yeah. their new compressor pedal, which, has got which an also <laughs> has the uh, 610 um, preamp in, in, the, in the thing. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, these new offerings add vintage analog color to a signal, as well as precise control of level and EQ, from subtle boosts and tone tweaking to fuzz light cranked console saturation. Yeah. These that. pedals enhance anything that passes through the circuit. Literally anything. Anything. Pour a wine through it and it comes out. You pour like a five pound bottle of cheap Tesco's Water. wine through it. Wine out, out the other comes side. the other side. <laughs> Chateau Neuf du Pape. Yeah, they call um, it the Jesus pedal. Yes. So it makes water into wine. <laughs> um, and it's, uh, it says it just like you'd expect from a great retro recording preamp. Right, we've got some modes that we can play with. Uh, let's have a little look at the knobs on here. So, level, drive... Uh, LF and HF, I mentioned low frequency and high frequency. Uh, we've got EQ and overdrive mode, and we've got uh, dark, flat, or medium voicing. Always hand it to Origin. Yeah, that's All a new the knobs format, and isn't everything, it? and the switch Soft is switch beautiful. And, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's really yeah. lovely, lovely. Anyway. And what serial number is on there? Oh, it's not 69 uh, like no, last time. No, 0386, okay, that's serial number. So, I mean, I guess let's just, should we just use some yes, of the... Um, let's do it. Let's hear the clean tone first. Here we go. As Andy Martin says, here's my clean tone. I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go in the middle, flat, overdrive mode. This is not a suggested setting just yet. I'm just going to see where we're at. Just yes, you, know. you don't have to suggest stuff. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice. Ooh. 
That sounds really that good, sound man. Right. It's just filling out all the bits that you and want to fill out. And they're giving a little bit yeah. of that sort of gain arch yeah. on the top. Very dynamic. So if I, if I pop it back to <laughs> EQ mode, yeah. um, see what happens. Just drops the game Take it off. quite a lot, doesn't it? Turn it off. So everything at 12 obviously must I be see. like a neutral kind of... Kinda... Is, in, is there on the clean? Uh... That's a good sound, oh, man. Isn't it? Oh, isn't gee. it? Oh, um... gee. oh, that's good too. I just changed it from flat to med. Flat to more med. Of a Mediterranean sound. Oh, right, yeah. Voice. Yeah, slightly, uh, slightly more oily. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in a good way, you know, the, the good uh, yeah, the olive, olive oil. oil. Yeah, yeah. Happened there. That's now I've gone to druk mode. Druk dark. I think. Oh, all right. Wow, that's a good sounding it's a overdrive great sounding pedal, pedal, isn't it? May I just add, this is the first time we plugged this pedal mm. in. We haven't plugged any of it in before. No. So. Well, that's, I've plugged that in before. So. Shall we... Um, that sounds great, man. Try so some we do a hum? Do you, I don't know, yeah, you want to try a different guitar? I'll try hums. Okay, try some hum. Hum de liam. I wonder, um, maybe it's the amp oh, that we're using. It doesn't, for me anyway, I'm not sure that I, 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 I found any settings yet where the dark or the medium voice is work. It really makes it better. Might be better in like a JCM 800 yeah, or, or, or... Or I wonder if this is the kind of thing if you just went straight into a desk and you would use maybe those... Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I'm throwing it out there. I, mean, I don't know. For what we've just um, done with it, it sounds really, really, really good. So, Sorry know. to interrupt. Keep no, playing. Absolutely. That. No, absolutely. You can interrupt anytime. <laughs> I shall add that to the list 
uh, of great sounding overdrive Absolutely, pedals. Yeah, yeah. It's a long list. It's a long bloody <laughs> list. Now. I like that though. I like that. That's a good um, sounding pedal. Very cool. Okay, let's just do the settings. So one is clean and tight. The other is assistant engineer. I'm not sure if that's assistant engineer. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that means. Is that a little dig at assistant engineers, or is that is that just how assistant engineers would set the, I don't the, the know. console? I mean, I clean know. and tight. Anyway, do you want like, clean uh, and tight with a Les Paul, or it doesn't strike me as a guitar that naturally wants to be clean or tight? No, that's what I'm saying. I like it more. Uh, you like it dirty and, and, and loose. And, and loose, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that is, that that is, is tight. clean and... It is, there is some Ooh. kind of compression going on there, isn't there it? Is. Just do it without this. Always on that kind it's of pedal. It's a great sound. Yep, and yep, then, yep, like yep, you yep, say, yep. let's see what the assistant engineer would do. Drive all the way up, level about a third of the way up. Uh, low frequency about the same as it. Oh no, low frequency all the way up. Okay. High frequency all the way up in its dark mode. So on this its is like overdrive some... mode. If you could plug into a 610 console like and that, get a sound so. like that, you, why would you ever need a guitar amp? I don't believe that that's how it would read. Really Seven and a quarter inch radius, Lee. Look at That's that. That's great. Face. That is a good sounding pedal. That's good. I think it's a similar kind of dough to the, the one compressor. So about 260 again. It's also in stock. And if you want to hear the bass version, you'll have to tune into one of our bass episodes and see when the guys get their hands on that. Bass. So, DCX Boost from Origin. That's well very, done. Very, we are very, done. Very, very, very good. Moving on to the Robin Hood. <laughs> That's what you get, isn't it? When, you're, when, you're, when your girlfriend dumps you, you get the old Spanish archer. Elbow. Um, <laughs> wow, I've never heard that before. <laughs> and the Spanish Archer Elmo. Wow, that was good, um, man. That was such a dad joke. Sorry. Okay, so the Archer, everybody knows the Archer, okay? So um, the, the Clon, if you didn't hear at the beginning, sorry. when we hit a million subscribers, yeah, yeah, you will yeah, win yeah. a real like, one. So the, the Clon is one of those mythical, mystical overdrive pedals, cost thousands of dollars to get an original one. And it's been copied by just about every panel, pedal manufacturer under the sun. It has, hasn't it? Um, the J Rocket probably got one of the um, most applauded clon clones. Clon clones. Uh, they do a, a silver one, they do a gold one. Um, they do one where you can switch all the different uh, diodes or transistors that have been in a, in a, in a clon over the years. Yeah, many, many there. videos of, of all these pedals. Yeah. Uh, however, what they were working on prior to his uh, Passing. Very, very sad passing earlier this year was they were working on a pedal with um, uh, Mr. Beck, Mr. Jeff Beck. Um, I don't know how close to release this was, um, but all I know is that uh, a couple of months ago they announced that there was going to be a version of the Archer called the Jeff. Uh, it looks um, exactly the same as a regular Archer. Uh, Black knobs. It has it's got on instead. Oh, okay, cool. Different color. I think that's yeah, different color. Um, but it's got the same three controls, the same controls that you would get on a clon, basically. So output, gain, and treble. Um, very, very compact. Uh, I don't know if it's limited edition, is it? I don't uh, think so. No. Okay. So it's it's, but it's called the Jeff, mm -hmm. um, and it sounds like.
We might, uh, we might gain up the amp a bit later in this yeah. demo as well, but here's what I like into a clean amp. <laughs> Just try, they're, straight, they're very vague as to exactly how this is different to a, um, a regular Archer. It's, um, it talks about um, being more modelled around a, a gold um, clon mm -hmm. uh, rather than the silver one. Um, it talks about featuring uh, NOS germanium diodes yeah. as well as some other internal tweaks. Um, and it does, at least in our copy suggests it is limited edition but hey diddledy ho uh, let's get some different sounds of it it's 299 pounds by Oof. the way so let's uh, that was a very i guess traditional kind of clonny not too gainy yeah. uh, vibe um if i start to, to up gain up a little bit more <laughs> that's I'm immediately just gonna say, that's just that's the for There's whatever reason, sound. and uh, you know, the clon just finds on most guitars into most amplifiers, it goes, here's that singing feedback note that we all go, oh, mm -hmm. and it just <laughs> does it. That's the circuit. It's I mean, right it's there, just, wasn't it? <laughs> Sounds great, man. What a nice tone. There's lots of different, well, I say lots of different. You will find clon players who use it more of a clean boost. You'll find players who use it as a conventional overdrive pedal. And yeah. you'll find players that use it into other overdrive pedals or into driven amplifiers. Lot, yeah. You know, you've got to find your own, I yeah, think. Yeah. Could we just maybe put yeah, the preamp yeah. gain of this amp up a little bit and then see if it again. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And let's see what we can do with this now. With, with less, with less scale yeah, on the, it's interesting that, on isn't, the it? Arm, isn't it? Yeah, it was because it, it, it gets a little bit too uh, compressed. Like that, that there we are. Yeah. Could we uh, do the Les Paul test with that as well, please? That sounds good, man.
What a good tone that is. It's a great tone. Do you know what? We, wow. We'll probably um, highlight this a bit more when we plug the, the Lizard Queen in as well. But I wouldn't underestimate just how quiet both these circuits are. But, you well, know, that like, is really... Look at that. Uh, let me turn the guitar up all the way. And, this, and the same, to be fair, I mean, we've got this on a crazy setting now, but let's just... A little bit, yeah, a little bit noisier on the origin, but not relative to how much gain, but I think the arch is quite Let's impressive. Have a Take it all the way over to the top setting. Is that the brightest setting on this one? You want, there you go. There, no, try brightest again. in the middle. Okay, try yeah. again. Clon clon. No, I think this has got a little bit more. This is a bit fatter at the bottom end, isn't it? Whereas the, I always think the clon just sticks an extra little bit of sizzle on the mid oh, range. On. On Here, that. Let's try the feedback test. So they've gone. Clony clue. Because they haven't I mean, done a clon clon. They haven't done a. They've got a tube screen, but they haven't done a clon, have they? And this just goes to show, doesn't it? Whenever we but do, everything this sounds like, the same. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you want to watch a video on do all overdrive pedals sound the same, there it is up there or down in the yeah. links below. And just Smith uh, this one too. Everything sounds the same. But let's see if this one sounds the same as that one. I don't think it will. Um, okay. So are we done on the Archer? Yes. Yeah. I great, love it. Really cool pedal. Two ninety nine. Wow. Um, that's a good pedal as well, man. I, I think... And simple, right? Yeah, I think of all the, 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 the clon clones out there, the Archer always um, does well, you know, in yeah. the sense of it's a great pedal. Should have mentioned at the beginning, you could use the timestamps, but hey, probably work that out for yourself, right? So, yeah, there must be uh, here you are. If you uh, are ever on YouTube, which of course you are because you're watching us, you probably know already that uh, JHS have been collaborating with... Um, Mike Matthews at yes. Electro Harmonics. Mikey. Um, so it says, congratulations on your purchase of the EHX Lizard Queen thank Octave you. Fuzz pedal. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you very much. I suppose we purchase. Yeah. Uh, the Lizard Queen was originally designed by Josh Scott and Daniel... Daniel? Daniel Danger. What a great name. Daniel, Daniel Danger. Daniel Danger. There's an, is there a better... Have you ever heard a better name than that? Yeah. Uh, um, the guy from uh, Rift Amps. Oh, Chris Fantana. Yeah, Chris Fantana. They need to combine. Daniel Danger and Chris Fantana. Oh. That's some sort of superhero <laughs> pedal amp making partnership there. Wow. Capes and masks are plenty. Anyway, so it was designed as a tribute to the sound and look of iconic electroharmonics pedals from the 70s and 80s. Now, in partnership with JHS Pedals, Electroharmonics brings you the Lizard Queen's biting octave tinged fuzz in a compact, roadworthy enclosure. I'm sure I've seen a big. Yeah, they've done a couple of them. Queen. Can I ask you a question? This mm. just popped into my head. Mm. Have you ever seen a, 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 a superhero with a beard? Well, I mean, when Batman was sort of washed up and he sort of went a bit stubbly, didn't no, he? No, I'm, 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 I'm like a full-on... full-on beard. Full-on big beard. There needs beard. to be a beard, doesn't there? Can you, uh, uh, like, Thor? get a mask Hasn't and then... Thor ever had a beard? No. I don't think so. Maybe Odin, but, you know, super, I'm talking superhero like Superman or something. Yeah, he's very clean-shaven, isn't he? Yeah. Um, anyway. There we are. Marvel or DC. <laughs> We need uh, yeah, the, lumberjack the bearded man. clam. Yeah, the, <laughs> the bearded clam. Wow, <laughs> snappy. Come on, let's do the lizard queen. Yeah, that's oh, uh, not what I expected, but um, it's very seventies. That's very sharp wow. and bright, isn't it? It is. Let me just turn it down a bit okay. as well over here. So. Uh, What is that? Is that tone? Wow. Wow. Okay, we have an octave knob controls the intensity of the octave up effect. So anybody who's seen this and thinks, oh, cool, octave down, fat, yeah, big, fat. Bad. Not that. Okay, it's octave up. Uh, mm -hmm. The balance knob adjusts the balance between the shadow and the sun. The shadow 
is a classic dark Hank Marvin inspired yet smooth sustaining fuzz. Not Hank Marvin inspired. Uh, <laughs> was the just sun saying. is a brighter, raspy, biting fuzz, and the balance knob is the most oh, is most effective with higher octave settings. Uh, and then volume is bizarrely volume. Um, wow. So let's. I wasn't uh, expecting that. I don't really that. know where I'm going with this thing. <laughs> Okay, this makes a little bit more sense, all right? So the Lizard Queen is a fixed gain fuzz. So none of these knobs is actually adjusting okay. the amount of fuzz. We are fixed just, gain. You, you have to use your guitar's volume knob to adjust oh! the intensity of the fuzz. Of the relationship. Yeah. <laughs> That makes sense because now I'm turning it down here. Right. Let's leave it there for a minute. <laughs> so there is volume in there, okay? There's volume. See me working it out. Yeah. It's got a sitar kind of vibe to it. When you turn when you turn the volume down, it gets that velcro. Starved of, uh, I think of it's... um it's it's like it's starved from the uh, voltage, isn't it? I think it's really Sorry. It, ma it makes me feel like it's everything up riffy rather than No, cuz no, cuz if it... And if I dial it down here Les Paul, yes, we can, that. absolutely. This will be our final segment of uh, this particular Tales from the Pedal Cabinet video. If you've made it all the way to the end, oh. well done. Um, we must be on about episode 20 of these now, so if you've enjoyed the format of this video and want to go and see some other eclectic pedals, uh, find the playlist below and you can go do absolutely. that. So here we, we should, are, the we should do this live queen. once as well, man. So. I agree.
£99.